Hey everyone, welcome back to another chat room. Uh, today on the couch, we have the man that was here at the very start. The very first chat room uh, was uh, in the watch here next to me and uh, Niall Batty O'Callaghan. And uh, he's, he's, he's back for one day only. He's back at the couch. And how are you? Very good, very good. Thanks for calling in. No problem at all. Uh, today you're in to talk about something uh, different than what we were chatting about the last day with, uh, with poor old Niall. Uh, not football. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to destroy him again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know he's going to see this now I want to come back. Yeah, anyway. Uh, you're in to talk about uh, Quills. Quills yeah. Men's Bear. Yeah. My old, uh, my old employer for yeah. about five years That's I was right. there with you. Just yeah. good times. Not twice. I taught you everything you know. She's no all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't take any credit for that. <laughs> uh, so, if uh, everyone in town might have noticed that Quills Menswear went from the main shop out to actually the main street, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose when I went there first in 1995, it was actually upstairs. Okay. Yeah. All the menswear was upstairs. All the men's were upstairs. And then around 1999, we brought it downstairs to the back of the shop. Mm -hmm. And just November there now. The, the ninth, we opened up at the front there, opposite scale out of there, number yeah. four High Street. So, Mikey Healy Ray and James, I don't know who did the uh, yeah, did, did the honors, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and a fine shop it is, in fairness, it's like there's loads of space and everything in it, yeah. No, it's a great move for us because, um, you know, we just found at the back of the shop there that it was just with the tourist team inside there, yeah, that we needed to give Minzro's proper profile and yeah. platform. So, it was an ideal opportunity to do it, fantastic. Uh, and like, I suppose there's no shortage of, of, of menswear shops in Killarney at the moment. Yeah, well, it, you know, it's great. I mean, Clarny doesn't survive in one hotel or one restaurant or one bar. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the competition that keeps everyone going, and mm -hmm. it's the same at the Minzwer. And I, I firmly believe that up to maybe before Brian James came, Frank Culty was there, but you need you need plenty shops to provide the competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So also, let's people know that Clarny is a place to go for Minzwer. Yeah, and then it's absolutely. Up to each shop then to, to get its own piece right and get yeah. it right, do you know? Fair play, fair play. Uh, so you're in today to talk about a very interesting offer you're actually doing, Quills, uh, mm -hmm. which is? It's it's just, we are finding now that um, for weddings, dress hire is always an option, but we mm -hmm. find now that fellas are actually buying the suits. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, what we're doing is an offer for them. Okay. In so far as if you're getting married tomorrow and you have three groomsmen, mm -hmm. you can come in to us, we'll measure you up, we'll show you cloths, we we'll do everything for you, and the good news for the groom is he gets his suit for free. That's a pretty good offer. Any grooms out there, right, uh, watching this, are like, oh, that could be handy. Yeah, and not forgetting the bride. Oh yeah, obviously, because she's she will, she's yeah, still yeah, her half she, of the yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's the. We real have boss, a like. weekend for two, okay. for two nights in in the top hotel in Kim Mayer. Oh, very good. So. She can bring her friends or she can bring her husband if she's not sick of her. Well, sick yeah, of her. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, so that's our offer to the bride. So that's just something we're doing just to kind of get the whole thing kickstarted for us because, as I said, we're out there about five months. It's been mm -hmm. going exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And we're just, trying to, we're just trying to piece things together for ourselves just to get other parts of the business up and going. Brilliant. And we've just noticed there's a little window there yeah. where guys are starting to buy their wedding suits. Yeah. You know? When I got married 900 years ago, I hired my suit out. 103. <laughs> so now we find the fellas are starting to buy their suits. Yeah. So we're just trying to give them a small bit of encouragement that way. It's a fantastic offer. And uh, not forgetting the bride as well. Too, and because, uh, that was a, a master stroke here. He's yeah. a marketing genius, <laughs> lads. I always remember the bride. Uh, so tell me more about menswear. It's going well? Yeah, it's very good. Um, as I said, no, we just felt where it was at the mo at, in the shop at the back that we mm -hmm. were probably suffocating ourselves. So... We came out to the high street and in fairness we had a fantastic christmas and we're working with some very good irish companies the likes oh, of yeah. remus who would be famous for their suits fantastic we've, we've suit Douglas and actually, graham yeah. we have andre another mm -hmm. irish owned company killer men we're recently after getting trico marine okay you know which is a big irish company as well too so what we are finding is the best companies to deal with are the irish companies yeah. because they know the market and they're, they're, they're local and we can pick up the phone to them and we can work with them yeah. and also it allows us the leeway to be flexible with customers as well whereas if you came in and said I'm looking for this yeah. we have four or five companies we can ring up it's easy it's local mm -hmm. and uh, it's working great for us and in fairness to the two projects they're, they're putting a great effort in there as well too and they're making sure that the customer is looked after and what we do as well too is we listen to the customer mm. we try and adapt for what they want mm -hmm. we don't dictate we listen to what mm -hmm. they want I think Quills were always really really customer centric 
Yeah, yeah they? exactly. And you know what? For everything you sell, you might have 10 sales after. If you come in and you have a good experience mm. inside there, oh, he's yeah. going to tell a lot of people. And then, you know, that's the most important thing. You're not selling to him today. You're mm -hmm. selling to him for the next couple of visits he comes to as well. That's it. <laughs> uh, in that, come here. You're known on Facebook uh, yeah. for, for, for a few jokes. No, mm. I, if, if anyone isn't friends with, uh, with End on Facebook, right? Um, we, we, there's an appeal that goes out every lint that he'll actually give up the, the, the cringy jokes yeah. for the 40 days and 40 nights of lint. Uh, it didn't happen this year. No. A lot of disappointed people out there on Facebook lint. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But here, look, it's if somebody wants to have a laugh at it, if only one person likes it, I've made yeah, their day. Absolutely, absolutely. Come here, uh, yeah, I heard you ran into a bit of trouble earlier. You know, I got a phone call this morning, actually, um, and I'm not sure if it was a scam or not, but I got a phone call to say I was after winning 250 euros mm -hmm. or else two tickets for an Elvis Presley tribute night. Uh -huh. They then asked me did I want to press one for the money or two for the show. Hey! <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't be a big fan of, of, of Elvis <laughs> anyway. Not really. I always, always, always loved Phil Collins and people oh, yeah. said I was obsessed with him. Right. But I said, take a look at me now. That's bad. That's bad. That is bad. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, don't forget, uh, Quill's wedding party suit promotion is on right now. It's a cracking deal. Uh, don't forget, not only will the groom get his suit free, uh, the bride will get a weekend away in a top Kinmare hotel, and and you'll also get a free cringy joke. Of Mr. Rendo Wash. <laughs> Do you want to end with a, with a, with a well, cringy joke? It was my birthday last week. Oh, back in the day. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no. yeah. So I opened one of my cards and a load of rice fell out. I just knew straight away it was from Uncle Bin. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> we'll finish it there. And the text a lot for calling in. No problem. Thanks, Kira.